hello friends hope you are fine and healthy so inside this lecture we have a new topic this is called text properties so let's just discuss about text properties and go to your just core editor and remove all this from here and just remove all this from here also css you can just write here text properties and I hope you are you have just remembered the comment inside HTML. So I'm just going to write command here. Inside this, I'm just going to uh, write the text properties. The first one we have just color here. Then the second one we have just you can say text align. Then we have text decoration dash decoration. Then we have text dash transform form. Then we have just letter spacing, letter dash spacing. Then we have word spacing. Then we have you can say just a line height. We have here. L I N E then we have just word spacing we have just already text shadow we have we have just nine properties one two three four five six seven eight and text indent let's just use this text dash indent indent so this just uh, the complete nine properties for the text so let's just uh, insert a heading to take here and you can just say uh, i'm just inserting my website link here dot wahid academy.com and you can just visit my website if you want just some free tutorial or just for more information about me about just uh, my courses you can just visit this website wahidacademy.com you can just save this and go to this web page and refresh just this a simple text with a black color without any formatting wahidacademy.com now just select this card selector open this curly braces here you are going to use the first attribute this card color from here you can just change the color you can say red save and refresh now it is red you can say blue you can say just gray or any other color save refresh now it is gray if you want a blue color you can just write here blue or inside blue you want dark blue save this and refresh so this just the color properties that you can just write here the color uh, properties and the color name here you can no matter you are writing the name of the color or you are just giving inside the coding maybe something like hash just like this i don't know if it's just working or not not working so it is just an example you can just write instead of this purple and save and refresh so it's about color properties let's just discuss about text align so you can just apply the second properties here text align you can say center if you want this text to be in center so now this is center you can say to the right save and refresh now it is on the right if you want the left so you can just write here left save and refresh but uh, what about if you have just a paragraph tick i'm just going to a paragraph uh, inserting a paragraph or you can insert an article tick now you can just copy some text from the microsoft word some dimmy text and you can paste here save and refresh now we have some text here inside p tick so focus from the left side it is totally justified and it is just arranged in very beautiful way but from the right side you can see we have just this line where it just you can say outside is just in it's not justify so you can just select the p take here inside css and you can say text align and here we are going to use justify this just for 
a lot of text just like this you cannot use text align justify just on one line here so in text align you have left right center and justify if you have just a paragraph just like this so this just uh, number two number three is text decoration so you can just apply this on the herring so uh, let's just uh, put this inside detail stick details and you can just cut this closing control x and paste the last i want to just hide this text here now this just looking better and here i want to just apply the third properties this is called text dash decoration you can say underline if you want to give underline for your text refresh now this underline you can see the heading two text is underlined you can use overline here save now we have just a line on the over of this text you have line through for this line through save this is the third value align through of this text or align just inside of this text or in number four we have just none if you want no underline no overline no line through so you can just use here none this just uh, four links uh, let's just create some link here for example here hypertext reference hash sign to create a dimmy link so you can say just www dot wahidacademy.com now we can just save this and refresh now we have a link here if you want to just remove this underline from this link you can just select the anchor tag here then these two curly braces you can say text dash decoration and the value for this is none save and refresh now this link is without any underline after text decoration let's see what we have here text transform so let's just use this also i'm just going to apply this here text transform text dash transform you can say just uppercase if you want this all in uppercase so you can see this in uppercase or in capital abcd if you want in small or just lowercase small abcd now this just in lowercase we have capitalized for this capitalize will work it will just uh, capital each word first letter just like this you can see and for this we have just capitalized lowercase and uppercase after this we have uh, letter spacing word spacing line height text hero text indent so let's just uh, use letter spacing and others about others we will discuss in the next class so letter spacing will give the opportunity of spacing between the letter so you can just write here letter space you can just say 10 pixel of space between each letter so you can see like this you can just create a space if you want just uh, six pixel or three pixel of space between letters you can just create like this save and refresh for example 30 pixel and now you can see it's just a big space between the letters but the minimum you can just save 5 pixel is just it is better so i hope you have just uh, learn something about text properties like color text align text decoration transform letter spacing so in next class we will come back we will discuss about word spacing line height text hero text indent so stay in and uh, just see you in the next lecture